Now, if you live at the top end of town, some days you just want to chill out in the back seat and be driven to work. Other days, you want to blow away with stress with a great drive. Now, this car, the Jaguar XJR, is one of those that can do both. Strange and contradictory territory for a limousine to be a sports sedan. And only Mercedes-Benz is the other rival that does it. Not even Audi and BMW have got a direct rival for this car. Only Mercedes-Benz with the AMG S63 is willing to delve into a driver-focused limousine. Jaguar reckons there's at least a small portion of Australian drivers that will love this kind of car. It will be available only on a special order basis though, at a whisker under 300 grand. So what's different about the XJR above the XJ Supersport that's already on the market? Well, it's got the same 5 litre V8 under the bonnet, but it's been retuned to produce 404 kilowatts of power and 680 newton metres of torque. But it's not only the engine that's been upgraded, the suspension's been stiffened, the steering's quicker, and the gearbox, the 8-speed automatic, has got the quick shift function for rapid gear changes while you're on the move. And you can feel those minor changes in the way it drives. The suspension is definitely stiffer than a normal XJ, and even on the smooth roads, it's got a little pattering element to it that lets you know that it's capable of something more than just cruising. Now, as a, as a more driver-focused limousine, this thing's got latherings of carbon fibre in the interior, um, special leather seats embossed with the R logo, and the engine, well, it's pretty damn good. It doesn't have that massive turbo whack in the back that the AMG does, but it's really strong. And particularly in mid-gear acceleration, it is deceptively quick. But the XJ is still not perfect. You know, it's not quite as refined as the Mercedes S-Class. Some of the interior treatment's a bit chintzy and a bit, a bit too chrome. And the ride and the quietness isn't up to the scratch of the S-Class. But if you do like to drive your limousine rather than sit in the back seat, this thing is a pretty good alternative. Now to test just how competent the XJR is, Jag has been brave enough to bring us to a racetrack in a limousine, and today it is bucketing down, which is probably not surprising to any of the locals here in Seattle. Now this big beast is pretty rapid in a straight line, which you'd expect, but it's surprisingly agile in the twisty stuff too, because of its low curb weight thanks to aluminium underpinnings. However, trying to tame 404 kilowatts on a wet track certainly created a few hairy moments. Well, the Jaguar XJR is certainly one of those unique cars that combines both ultimate luxury and great performance. So, now that I've got the driving out of the way, it's time to go home in the lap of luxury. <laughs>